画賞75冠達成本年度アカデミー賞最有力25 Welcome to Bravo Company. Welcome to Camp Victor. I'm just gonna do my best. How many bombs have you disarmed? 873. 800. And my job is to keep you safe so we can keep going on missions. He's gonna get me killed. He almost died yesterday. I'll take care of it. Ah, oh, Jesus. I fucking hate this place. I was scared. Well, everyone's a coward about something. You know? I mean, how do you do it, you know? Take the risk. People die all the time. Why not me? The world has been in this world. I'm the king of the world. I'm not going to be able to do this way. There's too many locks. I can't do it. ハードロッカー In 1967, Oliver Stone was a combat infantryman in Vietnam. During his tour, he received a bronze star for gallantry. Ten years later, in Hollywood, he was picking up an Oscar for the screenplay of Midnight Express. Now he has another story to tell. A movie that grew out of his own experience. Stone has come a long way from Vietnam. But he has not left it behind. The first real casualty of war is innocence. The first real movie about the war in Vietnam is Platoon. あれれなんだいこいつ極楽トンボかジョーカー二等兵正直なのは褒めてやる気に入ったとも俺んちへ来て可愛い妹はフッしびるがこの小僧がじっくり可愛がってやるもうニコニコできんぞメソメソできんぞそんな余裕がなくなるまで教育してやるさあ立てさっさと立つんだ考えてから物を言えようこの次やったら首根っこ引き抜いてクソを流し込んでやるさあ、よっしゃ、両側に同兵、なぜ我が愛すべき海兵隊に来た、殺すためであります。ならお前は殺し屋だ。さあ、よっしゃ、戦争の顔をしてみろ。さあ、殺す日の顔だ。わあ、これが戦争の顔だ。貴様はやってみせろ。わあ、ふざけるな。それで殺せるか。気合を入れてもう一回。わあ、全然怖くない。練習しとけ。さあ、よっしゃ。We've paid for that bridge and we're going to collect. We're going to fly 35,000 men 300 miles and drop them behind enemy lines. It'll be the largest airborne operation ever mounted. Quite frankly, this kind of thing's never been attempted before. We shall seize the bridges, it's all a question of bridges, with thunderclap surprise. And hold them until they can be secured. And we go next Sunday. Seven days. The sooner we go, the better. We've got them on the run. Joseph E. Levine presents A Bridge Too Far. Based on Cornelius Ryan's international bestseller. The story of the most dramatic and devastating battle of World War II. The plan is called Operation Market Garden. Market is the airborne element, and garden the ground forces. I like to think of this as one of those American Western films. Germans will naturally, they're the bad guys. We, my friends, are the cavalry on the way to the rescue. A Bridge Too Far. Starring Dirk Bogart, James Kahn, Michael Caine, Sean Connery, Edward Fox, Elliot Gould, Gene Hackman, Anthony Hopkins, Hardy Kruger, Lawrence Olivier, Ryan O'Neill, 
Robert Redford, Maximilian Schell, Lee Ullman. Take cover! Don't you think that since we know that Arnhem is so crucial to their safety, they might know that too? That the river's wide and that the current is strong. Hail Mary, I love grace. And as any more cheery information comes my way, I'll just be too happy to pass it along. In the meantime, just think of this as on-the-job training. They're 36 hours behind schedule. There's a battle, and we are in the process of winning it. Winning and losing is not our concern. Living or dying is. Well, if you don't look at him right now, he's going to die. Dead now. Right now. I can give him a quick examination tonight. Thank you very much, sir. We need reinforcements and, above all, ammunition. Tell the general we're coming. We're coming tonight. Two days, they said. We've been here nine. Why don't we just try to bash through? Well, as you'll know, I've always thought that we tried to go a bridge too far. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's guest of honor is from the Empire of Japan. How would you feel if America and Japan were to enter war? The United States is the last country in the world Japan should fight.本日付で私は自分の兵が待つ認知へと向かう国のため忠義を尽くしこの命を捧げようと決意しているおめでとうございます召集令状ですありがとうございますお国のため精一杯ご奉公してまいりますもはやこの島は孤立したも同然だ メリケンの勉強しておられるんだよだからどうやったら打ち負かせるかも知ってんだ違うよ左翼を尽くすから地に潜って徹底抗戦だましたか祖国のため我々は最後の一兵になろうとこの島で敵を食い止めることが責務である
These were the men. Hiltz, the cooler king, who broke every rule as fast as the Germans made them. Hendley, the scrounger. He'd come up with a baby elephant if the men needed one. Where's your kit? This is it. The rest was confiscated in the last shakedown. The goons didn't appreciate some of my more personal items. Such as? Bartlett, Big X, the prime mover behind this true, incredible story. He held their lives in the palm of his hand. Ramsey, the planner, ready to take the rap for every man in the camp. Danny the Tunnel King. He dug 16 escape tunnels in 16 different prisons. And the Germans still have him. Sedgwick, the manufacturer. He can make anything out of anything else and make it work. These were the reckless, defiant men. These men plotted. These men dared. These men lived. The Great Escape. The Great Drama. The Great Entertainment. The Great Adventure begins with The Great Escape. It's a colossal military disaster. We shall go on to the end. We shall never surrender. We have to go to Dunkirk. Ready on the stern line. What are you doing? You know where we're going. Into war, George. I'll be useful, sir. One of ours. He's on me. I'm on him. The ship's about to leave. They need to send more ships. Every hour the enemy pushes closer. They've activated the civilian boats. Civilians? We need destroyers. Where are we going? Dunkirk. I'm not going back. We know they will die. You're weekend sailors, not the bloody navy. Should be at home. There's no hiding from this, son. We have a job to do. Turn it around. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall never surrender. We shall never surrender. We shall never surrender. Where's the bloody air force? Yes, what you can do with that promotion. Colonel Dax, you will apologize at once or I shall be placed under arrest. I apologize for not being entirely honest with you. 
I apologize for not revealing my true feelings. I apologize, sir, for not telling you sooner that you're a degenerate, sadistic old man. And you can go to hell before I apologize to you now or ever again. Since the publication of the book 25 years ago, no one dared to make this movie. It was too shocking, too frank. What sort of casualties do you anticipate, sir? Mm, say, 5% killed by our own barrage. It's a very generous allowance. 10% more going through no man's land, and 20% more going through the wire. That leaves 65%, but the worst part of the job over. Let's say another 25% in actually taking the anthill, we're still left with a force more than adequate to hold it. General, you're saying that more than half my men will be killed. Aside from the inescapable fact that a good many of your men never left the trenches, there's the question of the troops' morale. Don't forget that. The troops' morale? Sir. Certainly. These executions will be a perfect tonic for the entire division. There are few things more fundamentally encouraging and stimulating than seeing someone else die. In heaven's name, are they? On the left. Where are the rest? Zero plus one, and they're still in the trenches. They're not advancing. Miserable cowards. They're not advancing. The barrage is getting away from them. They're still in the trenches. Yes. Captain Nichols. Yes, sir. Order the 75s to commence firing on our own positions. Extreme prejudice. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Very obviously, he has gone insane. This is the end, my only friend, the end. Are you an assassin? I'm a soldier. Something you should know about. Yes. These two men died in Normandy. This morning, Omaha Beach. Sean Ryan. 
This man at Utah. Peter Ryan. This man was killed last week in New Guinea. Daniel Ryan. The three men are brothers, sir. This afternoon, their mother's going to be getting all three telegrams. That's not all. There's a fourth brother, the youngest. Is he alive? We don't know. We are going to send somebody to find him. And we are going to get him the hell out of there. It's a tough assignment. That's why you got it. Some private lost three brothers and he's got a ticket home. I mean, where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? Think about the poor mother. Hey, Doc, I got a mother, all right? The sergeant's got a mother. I bet even the captain's got a mother. Well, maybe not the captain. Do you know how many men I've lost under my command? How many? 94. But that means I've saved the lives of 10 times that many, doesn't it? It's how you rationalize making the choice between the mission and the men. They want us to take the children. No, 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 no we can't take the kids. So this time the mission is man. Captain, the decent thing to do is take you down the road to the next town. I don't have a good feeling about this one. Drop him now! When was the last time you felt good about anything? Drop him! Drop him! Drop him! What is happening? I don't know anything about Ryan. I don't care. The man means nothing to me. It's just a name. But if finding him so he can go home, if that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well, then that's my mission.